What is up you guys, it's your boy Avery here, and I wanted to bring you guys a very interesting deck profile that I thought I covered on the channel, but I actually never did. So, what you are looking at is a 50 card tower that I actually got from a TCG player article, I want to say like over a month ago, and I've been testing with it on and off, and it's actually a pretty solid deck. So this is Mystic Piper Dogmatica. Um, Mystic Piper Chaos Dogmatica, whatever it is that you want to call this. A lot of you who have only been playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say even within like the last five years, probably have never heard of Mystic Piper. So Mystic Piper came out uh, back in, I believe, Star Strike Blast and only had one other printing. This card is actually kind of hard to come by. I think it's still worth a few bucks. And uh, it's got a very simple effect. You can tribute this card to draw and reveal one card. If that card is a level one monster card, draw one more card. This effect of Mystic Piper can only be activated once per turn. Uh, you can tell how old it is because it still has that kind of old wording. Um, and I believe that EDO Pro is kind of bugged right now with this card. It doesn't work how it intends to because what you could actually do with this card is that typically it was played in like a level one uh, chaos deck. I believe like Gallus the Star Beast even played it for a time. Don't quote me on that. But uh, you would play it in like a level one chaos deck with cards like Kinka Bayou, which we'll get to in a minute. And what you could do is that you could summon the Mystic Piper, tribute it. The majority of the monsters you played were level one, but you could just also use this effect to draw one card, but then reveal any card in your hand, not necessarily the card that you drew. You could reveal a level one monster and then you would get to draw again. So you would get a plus one off of the Mystic Piper. Now, of course, this card came out in a much slower time in Yu-Gi-Oh, where, you know, you could use your normal summon on a Mystic Piper and then just kind of sit on back row, and then the next turn you could get out Kinka Bayou to get back out the Mystic Piper to make a rank one exceed, um, or you could distribute it again to draw a card. Um, and that leads us into the next card I want to talk about, which is Kinka Bayou. It's a spirit monster, so obviously it bounces to your hand at the end of the turn. Uh, and it also can't be special summoned, and when it's normal summoned or flipped face up, you can target a level 1 monster in your grave, for example, Mystic Piper, special summon it, but banish it when this card leaves the field. That's never going to happen, because you can just tribute Mystic Piper to draw a card. Once per turn to the end phase, if it was normal summon or flip face up, return to the hand. No one cares. So, the object of this deck, obviously, is to kind of stun out the opponent with Dogmatica cards, um, and ins to pop their back row, Pegasus for the interrupt, Omega to send stuff back. But then you're also playing things like Zeus, Utopic Dragon, uh, Utopia Roots, uh, and then you're playing the Rank of Magic Astral Force really just to get to your Utopic Dragon. So we will cover all of that. So let's go ahead and get into the deck list here. We are playing the one driver and the three gamma. You play a shit ton of hand traps in this deck. If you want a hand trap, or excuse me, if you want a deck that says fuck you to the opponent and you play a shit ton of hand traps, play this deck because <laughs> there have been plenty of hands where I'll open up like a Mystic Piper and like the rest are hand traps and maybe a Disciple of Nadir and I'm sitting pretty. We're playing one BLS, two Fleur de Lis, one Chaos Creator. Uh, it can't be normal summon set. You got a special summon from your hand by banishing a light and dark monster from your grave. And then if you control this card that was special summon from the hand, you can target three banished monsters with different names. Special summon one of them, then place the rest in the bottom of the deck in any order. You can only use this effect once per turn. Keep in mind that this counts for the opponent's banished pile as well. So, if the opponent has a monster in their banish zone that you want, you can just take it and then put two of your monsters back into the deck. We're playing one Dark Arm because it's really easy to dump three Darks. We're playing three Ecclesia. We already mentioned the Gamma. Three King of Bayou. Three DD Crow because it's a good hand trap. Two No Material. Three Mystic Piper. Two Drone Lockbird. Two uh, Valor. And then three Magician Souls. So no material is a hand trap that's not really played too often, which I think is a very interesting tech in this deck. And it's also a level one monster. Uh, if your opponent special summons a monster, monsters while you control no cards. You can discard this target and then target a face up monster your opponent controls. This turn, that monster cannot be tributed or used as material for a fusion synchro exceeds your link summon. You can only use this effect of no material once per turn. So if you're playing against Dragon Link, the moment they bring out that black metal, if they don't have red eyes darkness metal, you can just no material the shit out of them and then. Really, they're kind of stuck if they don't have any other extenders. So, yeah, a lot of level 1 monsters. You can search the, these with Where Art Thou. Um, you, if you draw into them, then you can reveal Mystic Piper to draw another card. Um, again, it is kind of bugged out on EDO Pro right now, where the card that you draw off of Mystic Piper gets revealed. That's not the way that the card works. 
if you know you have a level one monster in your hand but you draw into let's say rank of magic astral force off the piper you don't have to reveal that you can reveal a no material in your hand to draw another card but anyway three nadir servant one feather duster one astral force literally just for the dump um three where art thou three jack in the hand three chaos space three dogmatic punishment and three crackdown jack in the hand uh, i've talked about this card before with the skull servant deck profile um really the things that you want to reveal with this card you really don't want to reveal any hand traps because no matter what you want to take you really don't want to give your opponent any hand traps other than maybe like no material so you can maybe pick like no material mystic piper and kinka bayou they're more than likely going to take the no material because and you know once they get a card on the board then you know it's dead uh <laughs> And then you've got like the Mystic Piper and the King of Bayou. So you could do that. I personally like to go for Magician Souls, Mystic Piper, and King of Bayou. Just because even if they take the Magician Souls, if they have a card that they can dump with Magician Souls, the special summon it, okay, fine, you gave them an extender. But you get if you have your Mystic Piper uh, or King of Bayou, depending on the situation, that's going to help you further than ha giving them one Magician Souls. For the extra deck, we're playing one Dragon Master Knight for the punishment target. Uh, Bastard Dragon, Ints, one Omega, one Wind Pegasus, one Double Zeus, one Utopic Dragon, one Levier, one Utopia Roots, one Recital Starling, one Assembled Nightingale, one Lombada, and one Link Karibo. Side deck um, can kind of be what you want. This is just what I grabbed from uh, the deck list on TCG Player. We're playing three Evenly, three Ash, three Skull Meister, three Lancia, and three Chaos Hunter. Really... Just kind of good cards, you know, other hand traps that you can swap out, and then the Chaos Hunter is good. Your opponent can't banish cards. Uh, you can ditch a card to special summon this card from your hand when your opponent special summons a monster. So it's good going second. Um, so anyway, besides that, let me go ahead and show you some test hands here very quick. Even a hand like this is not terrible. Uh, Chaos Space is good for being able to dump your cards. You send a lighter dark monster from your hand to the grave. Add a lighter dark monster that can't be null summoned or set from the deck to your hand with a level from 4 to 8. And with a different attribute than that monster, you can banish the card from your grave. Target one of your banished lighter dark monsters that can't be null summoned or set. Place that monster there on the bottom of the deck and then draw a card. Um, so, like, you could use it to dump DD Crow. I wouldn't really recommend that. Let's go ahead and go with Nadir Servant. And we're going to dump the Bastard Dragon. And then we can go for the Ecclesia. And that's going to give us a search at the end of the turn. We can go for Ecclesia, use Ecclesia's effect, go for... You can kind of debate on what you want to do. You can go for this if you want to have the negate during the opponent's turn. I would prefer to have the double pop interrupt because you already have kind of a negate in the form of Crackdown. You can set this and set this. You also have a hand trap for the interrupt. And then at the end of the turn, Bastard Dragon is going to get you a search as well. So I'll go ahead and show that off here real quick. And it can, of course, still get you the Fleur de Lis anyway. Alternatively, you could have added the Fleur de Lis and then at the end phase special summon the Ecclesia. The opponent would make their move. Um, you're most likely going to be using these cards. And then you draw into a Jack of the Hand. Um, this is what I was talking about before. You know, you can play this. And then let's say you do Mystic Piper, Magician Souls, and Kinka Bayou. And let's say the opponent adds Magician Souls to their hand. Okay, cool. So you get the Mystic Piper. And then I can actually show off the kind of a glitch here, if it'll do it. Uh, Piper effect, draw, see, it reveals that card. If, if it worked IRL, you could reveal the DD Crow, and then we would have drawn into another Mystic Piper. Um, also, again, we are playing the Astral Force just because when you get out the roots, you can get out Utopic Dragon by ditching the Astral Force. Uh, so what it is that you can exceed summon by discarding a rank up magic spell. Using a Utopia monster, you control the material, aka Roots, and then the materials attached to that monster become materials on him. Once per turn, you can target a number monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, but its effect is negated, and then during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated that targets this phase-up card, you can detach material from this card and negate the activation if you do destroy that card. And then you're also playing the Starlings here, um, because one of them can attack directly. Yeah, the Recital Starling, you can attack directly with that and then make double A Zeus, which is obviously very good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know that we're waiting on a ban list, but I really don't think any cards in this build, or in this deck list, I should say, are going to get hit. So it may be something interesting that you want to test out. And Mystic Piper is just an, a really fun OG card to use. It's always been a really fun card to use. Let me know if you guys ever used Mystic Piper, or if you've even ever heard of it before today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.